Hello, and welcome to North Penn High School course selection for the 2016-2017 school year. The course selection window will be open from January 22nd through February 7th, 2016, for you to select your courses for the upcoming school year. First, we're going to ask that you log in to Home Access Center as normal. Once you log in, we ask that you go to Classes in order to see your current classes for this school year. Once you get to this page, we ask that you select Requests. You will notice that the teacher recommendations are pre-populated for your core courses. So teachers have already gone in and made recommendations. Keep in mind that these recommendations are guidelines for you to follow, not mandates. So feel free to change levels if you believe that you will meet the prerequisites throughout the year, whether that, that's by grade or by courses that you need to take before you take the next course in a sequence, so on and so forth. In order to change levels, we ask that you click Edit for the specific course that you want to edit. So in this case, Edit English 11 Honors. So if you wanted to go down to a 5.0 track, you could do so, or an AP track, you could do so. Once again, keeping in mind, assuming you meet the prerequisites. After you check Edit, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. We are going to select the course that you want to replace the existing course or the existing recommendation. In this case, in this example, if you were changing English 11 Honors to English 11 5 you would simply check off the box for English 11 Honors and check on the box for English 11 5-0. You'll know that it's 5-0 by the course number. Anytime it ends in a 5, that means it's a 5-0 class. If it ends in a 6, it's a 6-0 class. If it ends in a 4, it's a 4-0 class, so on and so forth. When you are done making your selection, click Save. You will then notice that you come back to the request screen. I want you to take a notice that the course has been updated as per your request. So we now have English 11 5 as per the course number here, instead of English 11 Honors. And you could do this the other way as well. If this were the teacher recommendation and you wanted English 11 Honors, you could select English 11 Honors to replace that 5 course. In order to add electives, you once again need to select Edit. And in this case, Edit the Electives. This will give you all of the elective courses that you can choose from. If you want to just isolate the social studies courses, you would select edit in the social studies area. However, for this, for all intents and purposes, we're going to take a look at the electives so that we see every option available. Once again, you'll get to this uh, editing box here where you can uncheck a box or add uh, a selection. In this case, we're not unchecking anything, we're just adding an elective. So, add the elective by checking the box. Make sure it's the right course that you want. Pay attention to the credits that it'll be, because you cannot go over 6.9 credits. Uh, and you can't be under 6.2 credits. You've got to be somewhere in that window. Once you make your selection, click Save. Notice the change to your requests. We now have Advanced Acting in there. It's 0.3 credits. And you can do that for any of the elective courses that you want to add into your schedule. Remember. Electives won't be pre-populated for you, only your core courses will be. Next we'll take a look at selecting alternates. Again, you're going to edit whatever course you're looking for, whether it's by department or just all of the electives so that you can add in, uh, you can take a look at any of the, the possible selections. An alternate, you would have an alternate uh, in the case where if you don't get course A, you want to get course B. So notice in this case I select astronomy as an, as an alternate elective. It's not necessarily my first choice. However, if I can't get AP Biology, I want the next choice to defer to astronomy honors. So in this case, I check off the potential alternate that I want. You have to then go and change the drop-down menu that says make course an alternate. Change that to alternate to this course. Another drop-down menu will appear and change it to the course that you want it to defer from. So, for example, if AP Biology is not available, 
you want astronomy honors, course number 3326, to be the alternate course. Click Save. Finally, once you have made the selections that you want for your request for the 2016-2017 school year, we ask that you check your requests for accuracy. Remember, the window of credits that you can have is no less than 6.2 credits and no more than 6.9. If you were to go above 6.9, you would need to speak with your counselor in order to look at, at ways that you can add more than the allotted number of potential credits for next school year. For example, giving up lunch um, or, or alternate programming, uh, flexible scheduling, etc. So in this case, notice that the credit totals at the bottom of the page have populated. In this case, in this example, we have 6.4 total credits, which is in the window of 6.2 to 6.9. I've selected one alternate astronomy honors, which shows here. Notice the little icon next to it. That's the alternate icon. It's showing you in the alternate credit section that we have one full credit as an alternate. That populates at the bottom as well. So 6.4 total credits. One credit is an alternate. It's not actually going to upload into the schedule unless that AP Biology course can't be fit into the schedule. So in that case, Astronomy Honors would be the alternate course for that. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to speak with your guidance counselor. Have a great day.